Welcome back everyone to our channel. Today, we are diving deep into what might just be the future of AI, GPT-6. You know, there's this absolute hurricane of hype swirling around what's next from OpenAI. And honestly, it's for a pretty good reason. The rumors suggest this isn't gonna be just another update. No, this could be a major leap towards a true personal assistant, something that could fundamentally change how each and every one of us interacts with technology. So let's cut through the noise and separate the facts from the fiction. Right off the bat, OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, has set the bar incredibly high with this simple but really powerful promise. He's not just saying it'll be a little bit better. He's promising a significant leap forward. But, you know, what does that actually mean? And yeah, we've got to ask the tough question here. Because after the launch of GPT-5, which, let's be real, had some serious issues, what does significantly better actually look like for an everyday user like you or me? Are we just talking about more raw power for developers? Or is this something that's going to feel truly different and way more useful in our daily lives? Okay, let's get into it. Here's how we're going to break it all down today. First, we'll take a quick look back at GPT-5 to really understand why the stakes are so high for GPT-6. Then we'll separate what's official from the most exciting rumors. We'll connect all of this to the ultimate endgame of AGI. And finally, we'll talk about timelines and what this all really means for you. So first up, we need some context. To really get why GPT-6 is such a big deal, we have to talk about GPT-5. Its launch, well, it left a lot of people feeling pretty underwhelmed, which has basically set the stage for what needs to be a major comeback for OpenAI. The GPT-5 launch was, to put it mildly, a bit of a mess. A lot of users felt the AI's personality had gotten colder, less personal. The live demo even had some pretty embarrassing glitches, like generating charts with just flat-out wrong numbers. For a lot of people, it just failed the hype test. And this wasn't just some chatter online. Sam Altman himself came out and said, I think we totally screwed up some things on the rollout. I mean, when the CEO says that, you know the pressure is on for the next version to be a total home run. Okay, so with that in mind, let's switch gears and talk about what we actually know. In this sea of speculation, what are the official concrete signals coming out of OpenAI? Well, the truth is OpenAI is playing its cards very, very close to the chest. There is no official feature list. There is no release date. All we really have are those promises from Sam Altman about a significant leap and his hint that we could soon see AI making actual scientific discoveries. So for now, the software itself is a complete black box. But here's the thing. While the software is a secret, the hardware they're building to power it is very, very real. And this is where we get the clearest picture of OpenAI's massive ambitions. This is where it gets really interesting. OpenAI has signed these multi-billion dollar deals for a just staggering amount of computing power. I mean, to put this into perspective, a single gigawatt can power a large city. They are building the equivalent of a small country's energy grid just for their AI models. This isn't just about making the AI a little bit faster, it's about giving it the raw horsepower needed for the kind of revolutionary features we're about to talk about. This is the foundation for everything that's coming. All right, now for the really fun part. Let's dive into the biggest rumors floating around. Now, these are unconfirmed, but they're well-sourced ideas that hint at how GPT-6 could genuinely change everything about how you and I use AI. And this slide, it just brilliantly illustrates the core rumor that has everyone talking, a fundamental shift in the AI's relationship with you. Right now, AI is basically an amnesiac tool, right? It forgets who you are the moment the conversation ends. But GPT-6 is rumored to be a personal collaborator with true long-term memory. It would stop asking you the same repetitive questions and start learning your preferences, your projects, your tone of voice, becoming a truly adoptive, unique assistant. This is the jump from a generic tool to a personal one. Now, what's powering this is a rumored feature called continuous learning. Think of it this way. Right now, if you teach an AI something, it forgets it the next day. With continuous learning, the AI would be like a student that never, ever forgets. It will learn from its mistakes, its interactions with you, and permanently update its own understanding of the world, all without needing developers to retrain the whole thing from scratch. And all of this leads to what some people are calling the holy grail, agentic AI. This is where the AI stops just being a source of information and becomes a doer. It doesn't just tell you the best flights. It goes ahead and books them for you. It doesn't just summarize your emails. It actually manages your calendar. It's an AI that takes action in the real world on your behalf. So where is all of this going? 
Let's zoom out for a second and look at the ultimate goal here, which is artificial general intelligence, or AGI. This is the bigger picture that all these rumored features are building towards. Yeah, the term AGI gets thrown around a lot, but it has a very specific meaning. It's really the North Star of all AI research. So what does it actually take to create an AGI? Well, it kind of boils down to three key things. First, it has to be able to understand and perform complex tasks at a human level. Second, it needs to be able to learn and adapt all on its own, just like we do. And third, and this is the real game changer, it has to be able to create brand new knowledge to make scientific discoveries that are totally beyond our current understanding. Now with that in mind, check out this bombshell quote from Sam Altman. He said, we are now confident we know how to build AGI. Now that doesn't mean it's already built. What it means is he believes the core scientific mystery has been solved. The challenge now is a massive engineering and scaling problem, which is the exact problem those giant hardware deals we talked about are designed to solve. All right, this brings us to our final section, the timeline and the takeaway. We're gonna tackle the number one question on everyone's mind, when can we actually get our hands on this thing? And then we'll summarize the bottom line. So the big question, when can we expect GPT-6? Well, there's no official date, but we can kind of connect the dots. We saw a 28 month gap between GPT-4 and GPT-5. Sam Altman has hinted the next cycle will be shorter, and we know that new hardware starts coming online in the second half of 2026. So all signs are really pointing to a potential release window sometime between late 2026 and early 2027. So what's the bottom line here? What's the key takeaway? The big story of GPT-6 really seems to be a shift away from just raw computing power and towards real, personal utility. These rumored features, memory, personalization, autonomy, they aren't just for developers, they're for you. This is the next step in AI's evolution, from being a clever tool to becoming a true collaborator. And that is why this isn't just a story for Silicon Valley, it's a story that's relevant to all of us. And that leaves us with one final pretty provocative thought. We're heading towards a future where your AI assistant might just know you better than your friends, better than your family, maybe even better than you know yourself. When that day comes, what will you ask it to do? Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe next to Lith AI.